Hey style peeps, wanna add a little spring to your style, but a flower bird seems a little over the top? Well, grab a small to medium scarf and a large pin, and I'll see you in a second. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm Liz Cleva from Closet Play Image, where we are all about bright ideas for your style and your wardrobe. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I actually discovered this here on YouTube myself. Um, a couple months ago when I was doing a 12 by 12 style challenge and I needed some, I needed a little extra flash that day and I wanted a flower pin because I was doing a copycat style and I will link the posts about the 12 by 12 and the copycat style that inspired the flower, um, down below in the description, but I wanted a flower, but I was like, Hmm, I wonder if you can make one. So because YouTube University teaches you everything. I went out and the instructions I found were a little cloudy, so I thought I would do it myself. Not that I'm gonna be able to do it any better, but hey, we can try. So um, this is a scarf, a small to medium scarf folded on the bias. It's, yeah, it's probably about a 23 inch scarf folded on the bias. If you don't know what a bias fold is, I will link that, I think it's over here, or is it over here? never can remember one of these days it'll be good so it's on the bias fold which means it's folded from corner to corner um but it's not rolled up because you don't want to roll it because you want to be able to pull it apart so really it's like making a bow for a christmas present sort of so i'm just going to take it and lay it on my hand and go around and then i want both pieces on the same side if that makes sense so they're both they're both draping down. I'd like it to be a little bigger, but I don't think I have, my scarf is quite that large. So the tricky part is where my pieces cross, I wanna cross them across each other and away, kind of to create a little bit of a knot. And then I'm just gonna take it to the other side. Uh, I had to put it down, because I can't just hover it in midair. And tie a nice snug little knot there. Now I could make this bigger, but now all I do is pull out the edges. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see. And you'll have to keep playing with it as you go, but there we go. And I've just pulled out and I'm going to pull some of my insides out of my bias fold to make it bigger and kind of more fluffy and flowery. There we go. And there I have a flower. So what I did then, because, and this is a tip for any kind of a brooch you're wearing, often, like if you want to wear it on a sweater or a blouse that's lightweight, a lot of times it will drag your sweater or your blouse. So I actually pin it to my bra strap. So I'm just gonna go under here and hook this kind of around my bra strap and stick my pin through so you can see the pin kind of shine in there through I'm gonna poke through the knot and back down and pin it all together and then it should stay oh, come on get it back through the hard part is getting it back through the second time and now right now it's not hooked to my bra strap but I can do that later so yeah and look Voila, I have a little flower made out of a scarf. So, hope that gives you some inspiration if you're feeling like you need to get a little spring on. Um, oh, I think I actually like this one much better than the yellow I'm wearing today. Hmm, what fun. That's because this is a better color for me than this, because it's a little bright, but I have a reason for blue and yellow today. So, anyway, thanks so much for sticking with me. I hope you learned something new and fun today. Again, there's all kinds of goodness on my blog. That's closetplay.biz, closetplay.biz. Biz rhymes with Liz. I'm Liz Clever from Closet Play Image. Thank you for spending some time with me today because your time is valuable and any of it you spend with me is a gift. Stay safe and sound, sane, and stylish.